All right, guys, if you all need any pigeon supplies, don't forget to reach out to Pigeon Supply Plus. They do have quite a few different things out there that you guys might need for your pigeon stuff, so. All right, guys, my plan was to do a video every couple of days on a different boxes, but uh, my week, week's been crazy lately. Um, last week I had uh, 80 plus hours in between my two jobs and just been crazy this week here so far i've already got 50 hours in and i'm still not done my next day off won't be until towards the end of january here so if if i'm lucky <laughs> because uh right now since january today's january 20th i've only had one day off so far so it's been crazy guys it's just been busier than heck my wife had surgery and all that fun stuff and she's doing well, which is good, but she's home, she's not working, so I'm trying to, you know, make a couple extra, you know, an hour's up just by, you know, working a few more hours, so just to kind of help, pick, you know, keep things going and, you know, don't fall behind me in bills and all that fun stuff, you know. Yeah. But uh, overall, everything's going well here, pretty good. But uh, this pair right here in box number four, I am super excited for. I got this pair last year from Adrian P., I bred, you know, some youngsters out of it. I sent him some youngsters out of this pair, and uh, it did really well for him. And this pair here bred me the, my top um, racer for this year for young birds. And uh, I know he did really well as in a long distance, and I think she did really well as a 300 mile winner, if I do recall. Don't quote me on that. But anyways. Uh, they are super excited. They are good, really good birds. Um, I'm actually super, super excited with them. Last year was my last year of racing young birds. I promised my wife I would only do old birds from now on. And uh, I, not that I don't enjoy racing young birds, and uh, but I do. But with life going on, you know, I can't give all the time up to the pigeons. I got to give time to the family too. So. And that's really important to me. Family is very, very important to me. So I want to do as much as I can with my family, you know, especially my wife and my kid. They're very, very important to me. So, but anyways, uh, like I said, these guys are doing really well for me so far. I'm excited to see how they, you know, they keep bringing winners for me, which I do believe they will. Uh, Adrian P has done a great job and hand picking out a few birds for me. So, and uh, if you've seen his last video, which is on um nest box or pair number seven for him this is uh that i think the parents or at least the dad is one of them anyways but anyways they did really good for him so and you know i get lucky and you know be able to make adrian p on off uh youtube and he's a uh, you know kind of coached me a little bit and how to do things a little better and, and that's what i'm trying to do with you guys too is kind of you know coach you what i've learned over the years so God, I don't know everything. You know, we all did. We'd all have winning, you know, birds, so. But it is what it is, guys, so. But anyways, I don't mean to be rattling on here, but anyways, I'll show you the next pair here. Just kind of go from there, so. All right, guys, here's the next pair on box number five. And uh, this one here, he actually did really, really well for me. He did, uh, came home first on my first 100 mile race, um, 250 mile race, the first 500 mile race. He did phenomenal. And uh, I ended up, I picked out the um, my top winning racing bird this year. I thought I was a hen, I was wrong, but it does happen guys. I don't, you know, we're all human, we all make mistakes. But anyways, uh, this hen that I picked out for her, or for him, is uh one of my guys in the club he's given me a few birds and they've every bird i've gotten from him you know i've done really t fantastic this is from his nash national winner and uh she didn't do as well as i'd hoped she would have during young bird season but of course she is long distance so she does really good long distance as one of his top flyers and uh he and i ended up buying it to the auction this year and his his the sibling to this one 
actually won our race, our, um, our auction race, so, which is awesome, so, you know, and this one here, for some reason, it wasn't feeling 100%, it, she did come home, but not as, not as well as I'd hoped she would have, let's put it that way, so, but anyways, I decided to put these two together, since he did really good long distance, I figured she's supposed to be really good long distance, I'm hoping that the two of them together will produce me some really good long distance birds, so, that is my game plan anyways, so, overall things are looking pretty good here though so and uh since i've been kind of short on the coming videos here i'll probably do one more breeding box just kind of show you guys you know what they have in store so all right guys there's box number six uh i want to talk to these guys about these two here these are also uh no sweat seons and uh I raised one youngster out of this one in 2020. He did really well for me. And uh, so I bred a couple more of these guys. And of course I moved and uh, I did keep the one bird that did really well for me. It didn't do super great, but did well. So I wanted to keep it and still breed out of it. And uh, the, I do have it in next door. I am not at this year, I'm not breeding out of it at right now. I did do a pair of rounds for uh, Dan and John in Missouri, so hopefully they do well for them. You know, they'll kind of keep me posted and go from there, I guess. So, but this is my last pair of Sions that I have that I'm hoping will be really well for me again. So, as you can see, they do look really good together. And uh, I know a few other people wanted a few pair of these guys out of here, but for right now, I'm going to keep them for myself and see how they do. So, just kind of want to give you a little update. So, and kind of go from there. So.